All right, so you ask yourself, so now I've checked my tire pressure, what should it be? Well, you can find it on the sidewall of the tire. And here's a picture. So from what you, I can see, it says 50 pounds PSI. So this is for a trailer, a boat trailer. So I'm gonna put pretty much the max pressure in there. I'm probably gonna leave it 48, 47, somewhere around in there. For your passenger and car truck tires, it's a little bit different. A lot of times you'll find the information on the tag inside the door. Uh, again, the information is on the sidewall for maximum operating pressure, but for the ride and comfort of a vehicle, sometimes they recommend a little bit less. Uh, most of my cars and light trucks, light trucks, not a three quarter ton, not a one ton. Uh, I run them around 35 pounds. Um, Okay, so I hope that helps you. And you may need a magnifying glass to look at those sidewalls. They're pretty hard to see. But I hope this, this helps you. And be safe out there. Be careful. Take care of your tires. So what we're going to do today, we're going to show you how to do some maintenance on your trailer tires. How many of you guys have seen boats on the side of the road or guys come in and say, hey, I blew a tire on the way in. Yeah, it happens. We all know it. Uh, one thing about tires, they only last about seven, eight years. So if you bought a boat from somebody and it's 10, 12 years old, hey, assume that it's probably got the original tires and you need to put some new ones on it. Uh, anyway, when I check my tires, take the cap off. little cap make sure and set it down where you can find it then there's different types of uh, different types of gauges you got these which are, are nice because you can stick them on there and then you can read what the uh, what the pressure is this is about 35 pounds so they're a little low you also have these type, you can pick up no Rileys or wherever. Okay, in this particular type, it holds it, what you, what you read, the same as that, uh, really handy. And this one shows about 40, so not all of them are going to be exact. All right. And I'm not sure if you can see it over here, but I do have a spare tire for it that I keep on the boat at all times. Dang it. I know, I know I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting, folks? Help me out here. What am I forgetting? Dang. Oh, yeah. Put the cap back on. All right, thanks for the help. Hey, anyway, we'll uh, we'll get some more air in these tires and go inside and shoot a little bit more about tire maintenance. How we doing out there? Hey, uh, like I said, when we were outside, we have different types of gauges that we can use to check our air pressure. Uh, all of them work, but most of them I found have not been completely accurate. So the way I kind of gauge what, which ones are more accurate than others, after I take it to a tire shop, bring it back, I ask the guy, hey, how much tire pressure did you put in? And then I check it against all the ones I have. Uh, this particular one, 
I use for filling the tires. It also has a gauge on it. You can see it's kind of hard to pull out. It's about 10 pounds off. And I found that out right away. So for the most part, you're going to be in the ballpark. But these kind here, when the weather gets colder, they tend to stick a little bit. And sometimes they don't get real accurate. Uh, I still, I trust the type with the gauge the most. For me, I like them the best. But, you know, if you're going to stick them in your glove box, uh, these still work pretty good. Anyway, that's all personal preference. I can't really say any are better than others. But remember, tires don't last forever. If you think your tires are more than seven years old, at a minimum, take them to a tire shop, have the experts look at them, take them off a rim, have them pull one off a rim, and tell you. Uh, I've heard so many people say when they buy a trailer, uh, that's the main thing. We got a lot of trailers here in Texas. When they buy a trailer, they say, oh, look at those tires. They got all kinds of tread on them. And before they even get them home, they'll have a blowout. <laughs> so be careful. Be careful with tires. Blowouts are very dangerous. And if you haven't had a blowout on an RV or a boat or something like that, when they blow out, they can do a lot of damage. So please take care of your tires. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Get out on the water and have a great day.